Hello students. Today we will do the practice of non-finite verbs. The error spotting practice of non-finite verbs. So first I would like to tell you what non-finite verbs are. So the topic today is non-finite verbs. Non-finite verbs. Non-finite verbs are the verbs which are not limited by subject verb agreement or tense. So these are the verbs which are not limited by, they are free from any limit of SVA or tense. So limit of SVA and tense does not work upon these verbs. So these are non-finite verbs. They are not restricted at all. So here are some questions of non-finite verbs which is an error spotting exercise in which the sentence will contain four or five parts in which one part will be no error as well. You may find out any error in the sentence. If there is no error according to you, the answer will be the last option, no error. Okay, so let me give you some examples of this. But before I give you some examples of error spotting exercise of non-finite verbs, I'll like to acquaint you with the types of non-finite verbs. So the first type of non-finite verb is infinitive. Second type is gerund. And third type is participle. Infinitive may be 2 plus infinitive. That means 2 plus V1. Infinitive without 2 that means directly we we'll use v1 and there may be perfect infinitive which has two plus half plus v3 it is also known as perfect infinite there may be continuous infinitive as well two plus b plus work plus form and ing the next type is gerund if v1 plus ing form this form of verb v1 ing if it works as a noun then it is known as gerund. The third type is participle and participle is of two types. First one is present participle. If v1 ing works as a verb or an adjective it will be present participle and the next type is Past participle. Past participle that means main verb third and this third form will only work as adjective if it is a non-finite verb. If it is a finite verb, it will be a verb. So let's start with some examples of error spotting. First example is she wants to have gone to Delhi next week. This sentence as some parts and the last part is no error. So the parts are she wants to have gone to Delhi next week. So here are four parts A, B, C and D. Can you tell me which part contains error? Okay I tell you the error is in part B. Here the use of to have V3. That means to have gone is absolutely incorrect. Why so? So let me tell you the rule regarding it. That if this finite action precedes the non-finite action and non-finite action is to be used for some purpose, you will always use to plus verb plus form instead of using to have plus tweet. So this part is correct 2 plus v1 is correct so this part must have to go instead of using to have go we must use to go understood students so let's move ahead to our next sentence next sentence is I admit to have said these words against you 
this sentence also has some parts. I admit to have said these words against you. Part A, Part B, Part C and Part D. Can you tell me which part contains that word? I tell you. There is no error in the sentence. So the answer is D. That means no error. Here the use of non-finite verb to has said is absolutely correct. Because if finite action follows the non-finite action, then instead of using 2 plus V1, we use 2 have and V3 as a non-finite verb. Understood students? Okay, let's move ahead to our next question. The next question is, you will be punished to break rules. Part A, B, C and part D is no answer. Part A, B, C and D. So, can you tell me which part contains error? Okay, I tell you. Part C contains error. Why? As I told you, if finite action precedes non-finite one, then you will use 2 plus V1. That means 2 plus infinitive. But here, this is the case that the action of punishment will take place afterwards. First, the action of breaking rules has occurred. That's why. And moreover, this to break rules is the reason of punishment. So according to the rule, if non-finite action precedes the finite one and it is also the reason of the finite action, then instead of using 2 plus V1 or 2 half plus V1, sorry, 2 half plus V3, both the things will not be used here. Here will be used for breaking. Here must be used for breaking. So if non-finite action precedes finite action, and this is also the reason of the finite action to happen, then you will use 4v1 ing instead of using 2 plus v1. Okay, let's move ahead. Next question for you is, when he made me to laugh, everyone got happy. This is the sentence for you. So, when he made me to laugh, everyone got happy. A, B, C, D and E. They are again five parts. Can you tell me which part contains errors? Okay, I tell you. The error is in part C because the verb make this always take bare infinitive with it. Bare infinitive means the infinitive without two. The infinitive without two. That means only V1. So instead of using two plus love, we'll be using only love. Some other verbs are there which always take bare infinitive with them. Like let, see, watch, hear and everything like these verbs. So these verbs will always take bare infinitive with them instead of using 2 plus infinitive. Let's move ahead. Question number 5 is I couldn't help but laugh at his activities. And the last part is no error. I couldn't help A B C and D. Can you tell me error is in which part? Okay, I tell you. There is no error in the sentence. So the answer is D. No error. Can't help or could not help. If takes but with it, you will use where in fit. So, let me repeat. If can't or couldn't help takes but with it, you will be using bare infinitive or V1. But if 
it doesn't take but with it can't or couldn't doesn't take but with it if but is not used with them you will use v1 ing instead of using v1 that means instead of using where infinitive or verb plus form you will be using verb plus form plus ing understood students okay let's move to next sentence sentence 6 sentence 6 is would you mind to accept my request if i beg you so the sentence is would you mind to accept my request if i begged you we have four parts of the sentence any part may contain error can you tell me which part contains the error okay i tell you the error is in part b the verb mind will not take 2 plus v1 instead it will take v1 ing that means some verbs generally take gerund or v1 ing which is working as a noun with them so your mind it will be taking v1 ing so instead of using to accept you will use accepting mind accepting my request if i beg you so the error is in part b with this verb mind we will be using v1 ing instead of using v1 or 2 plus v1 so let me tell you some more things about it some more verbs are there like stop start resist detest or some phrases like it's no use it's no good and as i told you earlier can't help without the use of but couldn't help without the use of but some verb like these will take v1 ing or gerund with them so understood students okay let's move ahead to our next question next question is would you like to stay here or to go would you like to stay here or to go so here are parts a b c and d the error is in part c with the use of or conjunction you can't use 2 plus v1 you will have to use only v1 that means we are infinitive this 2 plus v1 is wrong here that's why you will be using or go instead of using to go you will be using go let me tell you some other things about it here are some phrases or conjunctions which are used with where infinitive i'll tell you about them had better would rather but then or etc these phrases or conjunctions or any word they will take v1 or where infinitive with them and the so students so let's move ahead to the next question summer rose used to smoke at an early age so it is also divided in some parts a b c and d can you tell me which part contains error okay i tell you the error is in part b used to here means 
addicted to and if it means addicted to or accustomed to it will be taking v1 ing with it so here instead of using smoke you will be using smoking some phrases using to with them sometimes take v1 ing instead of using v1 you all know that to generally in 99% cases to takes v1 with it or infinitive with it but here in some cases in some phrases you will be using v1 ing or gerund instead of using v1 only so here there are some other phrases like accustomed to look forward to lead to with a view to these phrases will take v1 ing or we can say gerund right understood students so let's move up to next sentence he is desirous to get a job very soon and the last section is no error he is desirous he is desirous to get a job very soon part a part b part c and part d can you tell me which part contains an error okay i tell you the error is in part b because this adjective desirous this always takes a fixed preposition that is of and because of taking of it doesn't take v1 because every preposition except to will be taking v1 ing or gerund with it so instead of using desirous to get you will be using desirous of getting that means instead of using to get of getting will be used right here are some other verbs or we can say adjectives or any other word they generally take some fixed preposition and they are mostly other than two and if they are the prepositions other than two apart from two so they will be using v1 ing instead of using two plus v1 with them so here some other examples i may give you like abstain this verb takes from with it so as from has been used here instead of using to we have used from here because it is a fixed preposition being used with abstain so here according to from you will be using v1 ing with it instead of using to plus infinitive so the use of to plus infinitive is absolutely incorrect in the sentence so this was all about the error spotting of non finite verbs the important points that are to be learnt and remembered for the exams thank you